And tonight at restaurants across the state, it's takeout or delivery only. The governor today banned all dine-in service at all restaurants in the state. Eight on your side's Justin Shecker is live in Ybor City. And Justin, some restaurants had already made that tough call to close temporarily. Well, Columbia is one of them, Stacy, and this is the oldest restaurant in both Florida and Tampa. Tonight, I spoke with a fifth generation member of the family that runs this restaurant. She told me others should also consider shutting down all operations to slow down the spread of COVID 19. It's scary, but it was necessary. Opened in 1905, her family's restaurant in Tampa has survived both world wars, prohibition, and the depression. We're going to all be okay. We're going to be okay as a company. We're going to be okay as a country. Andrea Gonsmart from the Columbia Restaurant Group explained the difficult decision to close all of its restaurants during the coronavirus pandemic. We have to do this to try to contain this so that way Florida in the restaurant industry can come back. Even before today's executive order from Florida's governor, this airline worker had a hard time finding a meal. This is the first restaurant that said, yeah, we can serve you, you just have to wait outside. Tonight, delivery or takeout are the only options in the typically busy Soho district in South Tampa. Over on 7th Avenue in Ybor City, some restaurants have gone dark. It's not even worth opening for the to-go. After serving fewer customers all week, the general manager of Acropolis, Ebor, tells Aid on Your Side, he worries most about what shutting down means for his employees. They live paycheck to paycheck. It's going to be dis a disaster for them. A disaster for the restaurant industry right now, but Gonsmart says suspending business is needed to protect customers and employees from the virus. They are not just my employees, they are my family. And we made tough decisions today so we can ensure that they can come back, that they will. And to that last point, Gonsmart says they furloughed all of their employees. As part of this new executive order, the governor is allowing restaurants to deliver alcohol under certain conditions. We're live tonight in Ebor. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side. Thank you, Justin.